welcome to the show with the eternal self Every bit's a banger, best believe he don't mess Do me a favor, drop us up and keep tuning in If you like what you see, go and share with your friends What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be getting later on episode 8, the last episode for the Ahsoka series which I will be doing a live stream on. So make sure to tune in later tonight on my live stream at 8pm Eastern time it will start at. But today's video we're going to be talking about Shin Haiti. Now there are a lot of questions that need to be answered in episode 8 which would be the finale of today later on. But the one that is really concerning is of Shin in the future. Now, we saw Ahsoka didn't really ignite her lightsabers when it was against Shin. Now, one of the main reasons Ahsoka refuses to match against Shin's lightsaber with one of her own is because she doesn't really need to. In the past, Ahsoka has already taken down sabered opponents while being unarmed, such as when she killed the Inquisitor in Tales of the Jedi. Shin is young and inexperienced when it comes to saber fighting a veteran of the Clone Wars and the Rebellion. Simple blocks and force pushes are all Ahsoka needs in order to keep her at bay. Like Ezra, Ahsoka knows that the force is her ally and that is enough to defeat Shin. Now Ahsoka isn't necessarily looking to defeat Shin from what we saw at close of their battle Ahsoka attempts to help Shin by offering her to join them and of course the first thing Ahsoka asks is for Shin to surrender her lightsaber but she seems genuine in her desire to guide Shin as she guides Sabine. Moments before we saw Balin abruptly ditch Shin in favor of pursuing his own plan on Peridia. Now his decision to leave her was partially done in kindness as Shin clearly desires to carry out Thrawn's plan and take her place in his new empire. Nevertheless, Shin likely feels abandoned by her master. Now despite Ahsoka's genuine offer to help Shin, Shin chooses to run. She wasn't even able to scratch an unarmed opponent and knows she will be killed if she continues to fight. However though, if will be interesting to see what she flees into the finale. Now, Balin has fallen off the grid as he searches for the beginning of the cycle he wants to end and just blundered Thrawn's wish to kill Ezra and Sabine. Now, Shin no longer has anyone to turn to, meaning there's a good chance that she'll be redeemed and she has no guidance now and no master to look up to as she's on her own journey now. Now, this could be a setup. This could be something where maybe Balin has a trick up his sleeve and that's why he's sending Shin out to basically go with Thrawn or it could just very well be that they had a storyline, you know, in place, but now that Ray Stevenson is no longer with us in, you know, reality, he has passed away, they might not even have a clue as to what direction they might be going now, or it could just be that they have an idea now that he has passed, but during this time, they're going to have to figure out and pick up the pieces to see what they're going to do with her character and how she progresses going forward. I think that at some point, yes, she will be redeemed because if you look at even just her facial and body movement, you know, when she was looking at Ahsoka, she just looked like this lost puppy and had no idea where to go. And I think that she just kind of made a rational, quick decision to just leave really quickly. And overall, you know, again, she is still young. She's inexperienced and hopefully gets some clarity as to what's going to happen with Ray Stevenson's Balin, Shin, Ahsoka, Sabine, Thrawn, Ezra, and more with the New Republic. There's a lot that they have to answer after today's episode and if we're going to even get a season two which hopefully we will see at some post credit scene that you know maybe they'll continue this with the mandalorian season four or they'll do a season two of ahsoka but guys comment down below let me know what you think about this news today and what you think about shin's character with her being lost and now having no direction from her master balin let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you guys there. This is the Eternal Sith. Don't forget tonight, I have a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Catch you guys there later tonight.